Welcome to beautiful Hollywood, California. Yes, it is beautiful. With all the Christmas tree, the lights. I'm here again at the Universal Studios Hollywood tonight. No, it's not gonna be another theme park video. This is just a video where I wanna wish you, your family, your friends, and whoever you know, a Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever it is, I wish you a few nice holidays. So this is actually the last day before Christmas. And like I said, I just wanna use this video to say thank you to you because you've been supporting me for a while. You've been watching all my videos. I hope I made you smile as often as I can. And uh, tonight's video is not gonna be another theme park video. I'm just gonna mumble a little bit around and uh, what is a better place to go than Universal Studios? I also wanna say thank you so much for 350,000 subscribers. I should have done a video when, it, when I hit the number, but I've been doing videos like crazy uh, Christmas time right now, so I didn't really have time. So I'm using this opportunity to say thank you for subscribing to the German in Venice. That's a lot of people, 350,000. My goal for this year was 1 million, and I'm not gonna give up. You know, you gotta put it out there in the universe. I'm still hoping at the end of the year, I'm gonna have 1 million subscribers. You might be laughing at me, who knows? but I'm still working on it. Anyway, uh, why don't we just go inside the park and see what's going on. And if you have nothing else to do, you can stick around and join the GIV in Hollywood. Welcome to Universal Studios Hollywood. Let's go. I love being on the red carpet. We know that already. I really wanted to do a video wearing like a Christmas hat right now, but I couldn't find one today. That would have been the perfect one. She's still holding the microphone here. And he's measuring or whatever he's doing right here. This dude is still not smiling at man. Don't be so serious, man. It's Christmas. I always wondered how some YouTuber always go to the parks like half a day. I said, I don't want to mention who I'm talking about, but there's some vloggers out there, they're all the time at Universal Studios, Disneyland, and I was like, how can they afford that half a day? Duh, they got a season pass, which I have right now, so I can come here anytime. I went to the beach actually today, somebody tagged my store, so I had to clean it up, and then I said, well, let's go to Universal Studios, just walk around. So here I am. You gotta rub his nose. That's what I learned. Let's go. So it's been the fifth or sixth time already since I got my pass. Why didn't I do it earlier, man? I remember back in the days, years ago, when I always thought, man, I wanted to go to Universal Studios, but it's so expensive. Now I'm here for free. Not really, but you know what I mean six times already in like a short period of time for some reason this place makes you feel special because of the hollywood sign i got some obsession with that sign you know that and i thought there's no animals allowed at the universal studios big la fans are you guys doing anything special for christmas i'm probably going to hang out with some friends there's not going to be exchange of presents I wish I would have been in Germany, but it would have been too expensive just to go back. And then the 14 hour flight going there, going back. So I'm gonna save that trip for next year. Look at the line, all those people wanna take a picture with the Grinch. The Grinch is just like a celebrity. Everybody wants to take a picture with him. You think he ever gets tired of doing this? No, that's his job. It's almost like a famous YouTuber. Everybody, look, they're all dressed up. That looks really good, that's a good, family photo right there see some people come here prepared yeah that is a really good family picture right there merry christmas <laughs> look at this yeah that's a good one. okay guys look over here that was really funny blocking the face so this is christmas yeah this is christmas 
you feel good when you walk around here and it gives you some kind of Christmas feeling because of the nice lights, Christmas trees and people are happy that walking around here. Nobody actually lives here. The only thing that would be better walking around here by myself would be hanging out with my friends from Germany here. Shout out to Gogo, Maxi, Tommy, Tommy, Martin, and who did I miss? That would be pretty cool. Do a reunion here at the Universal Studios. Maybe one day that will happen. Mike, are you gonna cut your hair in the new year? It looks terrible, you always with that frizzy hair. Just imagine I would cut my hair off this is how you guys met me, you know? The way I look right now, this is the GIV look. If I cut it, I lose my identity. So no, I don't think I'm gonna cut my hair for the new year, just to let you know. What is that big crane doing here? What kind of construction is going on here? Ah, that's what they're building. The new Fast and the Furious ride. Attention, madame, monsieur. Rien ne va plus, t'es ancien à la serre. Moulin Rouge, I've been to the real one in France. Yeah, I would really like to go on a train ride right now. I also want to say thank you so much for commenting on my videos all the time. Seems like not always I'm reading all the comments, but most of the time when I first upload a video, I try to read the comments. It really never gets boring walking around here in Harry Potter land. It really feels like you're on vacation and you always see something new. I didn't see that the last time I was here. Yeah, I never paid attention to this. This is pretty cool. I got all those different instruments. There is so much to see. You just gotta keep your eyes open and look for stuff. Ah, it's not a full moon yet, but it's about to. The show is going on. What are all those people waiting for? Never seen that sign before. Little Lisa. Welcome to Krusty Land. Pretty good. I must say I had some really good experience the year 2023. I've done some really good videos. The one I really liked was walking around in Michael Jackson's house when they had the King of Popcorn night. If you haven't seen that video, you should watch it. That was mind blowing for me. That was one of my favorite videos. Also the last one I done on the 6th Street Bridge, that was pretty cool. So there's a lot of videos I've done, I'm really happy about. One Dove Drive Please for the GIV. You know, YouTube makes everything looks so easy but it's not really that easy you know some people do youtube for fun which i was doing but after a while it becomes a job because the more videos you do the more money you can make i'm not doing the videos only because of the money i also do the videos because some of the videos i really want to do and i really don't mind if the people are not watching it but i really had fun doing it so if you want to start your own YouTube channel in the next year, you should do it. All you need is a cell phone. You don't need much more. Right now, the lighting is not the greatest. I should get a different camera where there's a little bit more light sensor. I still haven't got my update on my uh, iPhone 15. I'm still using the I, uh, iPhone 13 Pro Plus. So just open up your own YouTube channel in the new year. And if I can do it, you can do it. Even though this is my favorite thing to do, the studio tour, I think I got a pass on that one because today I want to see Waterworld. I really don't know how couples do it when you do YouTube. You have to be kind of a loner. You know, everywhere I go, I go by myself. When I went to Germany, my mom was around when I filmed. I always feel bad for the people there around me when I film because sometimes I need to take my time and the people that are just waiting right there, they're kind of bored, so I like to do everything by myself, like a one-man band. Shout out to my friend Thomas. He could do the same thing. When we were young, he was always squatting down like this and relaxing. I can never do this. Can you do this? Try it. I always fall over when I try to do that. 
but she knows how to do it. What's up, Melhouse? What are you drinking? Duff beer? Aren't you a little bit too young for that? Go! Why is that line so long? Never seen that guy try to break out a police station. Hopefully in the new year, I'm going to travel a little bit more. Look at this, Pinocchio is actually sleeping on the job. Pinocchio, Pinocchio. Next show is at 8.05. I remember being here 30 years ago with my mom and my dad when we watched the show for the first time. Maybe I can put a picture of you how I looked back then. Woo! What's this? Fireworks! I really liked the movie when it first came out. And I like all the stuff here. It looks really cool. Old jet ski and the sheet metal. All the ice poles are melted. And there's no dry land. Looking for dry land. Be careful of the smokers. They're around here somewhere. I think I have to rewatch that movie. I haven't seen it for a long time. I remember the first time I've seen it. I was like, wow. See, that's what I like. Memories. That was right when I came here to America. I thought I owned the world. I thought to myself, how cool would it be to be a stuntman and work on the show and make money working at the Universal Studios. They still got the wet seat section right in the front. I'm all the way in the back. Should be a good seat. Well, at least I won't get wet. I remember being here in the summertime and it was so hot. People were so happy when they get wet. The crowd is getting bigger. The future. The polar ice caps have melted and the continents are deep beneath the waves. The survivors live on these floating fortresses known as atolls in this place called Waterworld. Brave explorers voyage in search of the legend of Dryland, the last remaining on the planet. But the deacon, maniacal leader of a group of evil raiders called Smokers, is determined to find Dryland first. He's ensured that no explorer has ever returned until now. All right, Helen. Civilization may start anew on dry land while the mariner rolls the four points of the compass. Back then I had this little camera, you know, those one. <laughs> now I got a whole studio in my hand right here. This is a good show, I liked it. He bought a donut hat. Frankenstein! He's alive! He is alive! Kung Fu Panda. They say I look like him. Let's go down the lower lot. No hands, no hands. There's Hill Valley down there. Looks like something is burning over there. All green Super Nintendo World. Shout out to Darren. I'm walking into Jurassic World. Super Nintendo World. 
stepping into another world. Whoa, look at this here. I'm in the video game. Woo! Oh, it's gonna eat my hair. See, when you walk in, you gotta smile automatically if you want to or not. Every kid's dream. Everything is moving here. King of the castle, king of the castle. For sure, I think it looks better at night when they have the light on. They do have a ride in here, but I'm not gonna do it tonight. Transformer, the ride. Even though I have a fast pass, there's no waiting line. You can just walk in. Well, I've done that right many times. It snows inside the Harry Potter store. Well, my friends, I don't think there's a better place to end this video than in Super Mario Nintendo World right here. If you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, push notification bell, and subscribe to the German in Venice. Are you dizzy yet? Well, I wish you guys a happy 2024, like I said before. Merry Christmas. Hope you get lots of presents. And hopefully you're gonna watch my videos after this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Tschüssing.